Hi guys, it's your girl Diana. I just wanted to make a quick short video, guys, just to give y'all an update on our condition here and to say thank you. So let's go ahead and get in the video. Let me go ahead and express to y'all everything that's been going on because you are my family, D-Squad, and I love you. So let's go ahead and get in the... Hey D-Squad, it's your girl Diana. I know it's been a while, guys, since I've posted or, you know, been able to make any videos. And I know y'all are probably wondering whatever happened to the D-Squad. Guys, your girl been down. I've been taking care of my daughter. Uh, we came home on a Monday. I got sick on a Tuesday. Ended up at the hospital myself. I started having really bad pains on my left side of my back, which radiated to the front side of my stomach. Pains, I'm talking about, that had me throwing up, had me in tears uh, to where I had to go to the hospital, guys. Um, they said, you know, we were in San Antonio for about six days course we didn't eat right we ate a lot of food that I know I probably shouldn't have been eating. and I have a little hard time breathing so bear with me but um they said there's two different things that were wrong with me guys if you ever been constipated and you know what I mean but if you ever been extra constipated to where you have to take all these laxatives all these stool softeners and um then you'll really know what I'm talking about constipation can jack you up. I mean, constipation can make you feel like you have having labor pains. Uh, it also, my breath is cut short. Like, I have a hard time breathing. When I walk for distance, I have a hard time breathing, guys. I've been missing you guys, and, I, I, you know, I never wanted to leave you guys hanging. I just have to recuperate. And in the midst of it, of taking care of my daughter, changing her wounds, uh, keeping her wounds clean, it's been very, very difficult. But I thank God for my mom, who's been the soldier... Excuse me, she's been a soldier for us. I have to drink some water because I've been very dehydrated. Excuse me. Who oh, has been a soldier for us. Um, she's recuperating well. She gets her staples out on the 25th, which means we have to go back to San Antonio because they can't do it here because they didn't perform her surgery. Another thing uh, that's wrong with me is that of course, y'all know that I had back surgery some years back, but I've always had complications from that back surgery. Well, um, I have, uh, my muscles are real, real tensed up. I have a muscle that's sticking out. So, uh, when I went to my, uh, pain management doctor, they gave me some, what they call trigger point shots. Trigger point shots, they give you shots directly in the muscle to decrease it to make it go down I also got a shot with uh, steroids and um, some other kind of shot steroids and it's supposed to be a muscle relaxer hasn't exactly worked just yet so I'm praying to God it will be better on tomorrow it's a lot of stuff been happening with both of us down it's been hard but I've been watching some of your videos and um, you know I've really been thinking about you guys and I just want y'all to know hey you know what this is just a minor setback for a major comeback so you know i give god the glory because you know a friend that i met the friend that i met in san antonio the bradley family like they say you know pain is easy for purpose and i give god the glory for my pain because i could be dead you know i could be dead and not feel the pain but so i'd rather feel the pain than not be breathing but anyway, you know, I've lost a couple of pounds. I've lost about 15 pounds, which I can stand to use 15, lose it. But it's just been hard. I've been trying to eat. I can't eat. I ate today for the first time. I held the meal down. I kept it down. It didn't come up. My mom made some chicken soup. Now, I, I tell you, my mom's a true soldier, 70 years old, taking care of two sick people. But now her foot has been hurting her. Um, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you, know, you know, kind of update you all on what's going on. And let you know we're still here um yeah so stay tuned um and you know and let me tell you in the midst of all of this i have some videos coming up in mind i heard it's prank war time so um and i owe somebody a prank a revenge prank and i've really been putting in some work in my mind about this prank yeah so stay tuned for that gonna be doing some mukbang some mukbang um also some mukbang challenges uh, I have a little short video that my daughter did with that. Kiki, do you love me? So I'm going to be putting that little little bit up so you guys can see what she was doing, acting ridiculous. But we were having fun. But anyway, D-Squad family, I wanted you guys to know that I love you. 
and um, I'm gonna be okay. I mean, look, when I went to the doc hospital, they shot me up so many times. Got my arm on, if y'all can see the bruises. Look at there, look at my arm, all bruised up. And that's from all the time. They even shot me all in my hands trying to, I'm a hard stick when it comes to giving blood. It's very hard for me, my mom, and my daughter. We're a hard stick. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get off now, but I love you. Oh, well, y'all, nobody, y'all, let me leave that alone. Anyway, guys, I love you, and I will be talking to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and put up a couple of videos. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'm going back on YouTube and look at some videos, and, and go ahead and subscribe to some more people. It's still time to work, but today is a better day than it was the last three days, so thank God for that. For you that are watching, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Let me know that thumbs up. All right, guys, as I was saying, that thumbs up just means that you love me, and I love you, too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video, guys. Y'all have a blessed night. And I can't give you a kiss song, but I can give you a kiss. So here it goes. Catch you guys.